flowers amongst the corn and the stalks rose to about 14 feet and the sunflowers about a head taller. So this is kind of about that. Two sunflowers picked the wrong time to bloom. An afternoon marine layer blocked out the sun before the two could fully open. One got stuck with a fifth of its petals unfurled like a hand in a pocket. The other only produced a few vibrant petals atop its head. God damn it, Murphy. I don't know why I listen to you. Well, I suspect it's because you never have any ideas for yourself. Like hell, I don't. You're just always getting in the last word. No, I think we both know that's not true. Truth or no truth, look at me. Well, these things happen. Easy for you to say. Your frock might as well be a lion's mane. Oh, why, thank you, Charlie. It's not a compliment. You're as unhappy as I am and a hundred times more smug. <coughs> it's not that bad, Charlie. Look where we've come from. Who cares where we're from? We look like a couple sideshow freaks. <coughs> from lion to freak? I must say, you are meaner each time. Well, next time I'm coming out on my own. Now, Charlie, I call foul. We have an agreement. Screw your agreement. No, not after all the times I've waited for you. I was just coming up then. Should have figured it out the first time. Half bloomed like a setting sun. That was a good spring, Charlie. For you, maybe. I was small. Lucky, really. I could have been clipped at any time. At least you've been there. Just one time, Merv. One time I'd like to know. You'll know, Charlie. You bet I will. Once I stop listening to you, you once blooming son of a bitch. <laughs> so says the sad little Indian. Are they drooping already? Afraid so. God damn it. That's what happens when I listen to you. Pop two petals and shrivel up and die before nightfall. We'll be better someday, Charlie. Someday? What about now? You know how it works. Yeah, I do. Too well. It used to frighten me some. Like it might hurt. Like the time that dog ran me over and nearly split me in half. Remember? I do remember. Of course you do. I fell right up against you. I guess I did kind of catch you. Like hell you caught me. I was falling and you just happened to be there. <laughs> the point is, Charlie, I caught you. Well, you screwed me enough times since for us to be even. You're being negative, Charlie. I'm dying, Murph. <laughs> you want me to uproot and dance across the dirt? No, I just think you should try to focus on next time. There isn't always going to be a next time. Of course there is. I bet next time we get there, Charlie. It's the law of averages. Every time we come up short, it betters us. If not actually, mathematically. Someday they might even take pictures of us. We'll find ourselves on a blog. Maybe even a calendar. How would you like that, Charlie? Charlie? Oh, next time then. We'll get there next time.